this is Amy Mullen and Pam Crawford from the Crawford Realty Team at Remax Professional Associates and this is part of our short video series on short sales. Today we want to talk about a few different things but most importantly is why should you be contacting a realtor to do a short sale? A lot of people think that they can do it on their own. Yes, that's a, that's a, and that's almost a misnomer. Um, there's going to be some, some of the things that the banks are going to want to see. Um, if you get an offer on the property, they're going to want to make sure that you've been marketing it at a fair market value, that you have um, backup showing that it's fair market value, because you're asking them to take a huge loss. Yep, and they do want to make sure that's a fair price. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, one of the things is actually showing the justification. We, we have a lot of consumers who will sit there and they get frustrated and they say, well, I'm just going to hand the keys back. Um, they've heard that ter terminology. They're really talking about a deed in lieu of foreclosure. There's a lot of banks out there that are that won't even consider a deed in lieu of foreclosure until it's been marketed aggressively for 120 days. That's a long time. It is a long time. That you know, a lot of people don't realize that that's what four months. I think, yeah, four months. Um, I can count. <laughs> um, and so you've got to show that it, that it really has been aggressively marketed that it's been shown um, and what the feedback is. Those are all justifications for, uh, for a loss that you're asking the bank to take. What are some of the other reasons why you'd suggest that a, that a consumer get in touch with a realtor and have them? Have them? Well, the realtor, in addition to being able to do the marketing properly, is that they are going to be able to negotiate with the buyers for you too. It keeps the transaction at an arm's length, gives the bank satisfaction that you've done all that you can and that that is an independent party and that that is a fair offer. What do you mean by arm's length? You know, let's let's say for instance we have a we have a gentleman who uh, has a house and he can't pay his mortgage, and his his uncle wants to help him out, so he is going to put in an offer, uh, a real low offer, and think that he can buy this house back for him and go ahead and do the short sale. Well, the bank's going to frown upon that because it's a relative. Okay. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to see that because that would be a really great thing for a lot of families to do. They could lower their mortgage payment, get the house cheaper. Mm -hmm. It's got to be an unrelated party, so you can't have relatives. Husbands and wives can't do it. It has to be somebody who saw the property, saw that it was marketed, and then put in a fair market value for it. Just because it's a short sale doesn't mean it's a fire sale. Okay. And so, how's the bank going to know this? Well, they research it. Okay. They look. Mm -hmm. And they ask. Yes, and and it's in what I have found is that the banks will actually have a form for the for the buyer and the seller to sign, stating that this is an arm's length transaction and that the seller and buyer are not related. Yeah. Um, so that is going to be very important. Um, that's one of the many forms that they'll right. have to sign. Right. And so this is not an easy thing to navigate um, for the average consumer. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of people come to me and they, they think they can't do a short sale because they tried the loan modification um, and they can't navigate through the paperwork so they've been denied and they just assume that since they were denied for that they're not eligible for other things. Probably one of the biggest myths. It is because you, you could be denied for a loan mod because you don't have current employment. Mm -hmm. However, that certainly qualifies you for a short sale. Right. And there is a lot of paperwork, and actually while you're waiting to hear on your loan mod, you can begin your short sale process under the new HOFA rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And that's that. We're going to go through the HOFA program in some of our other videos, so please stay tuned for additional videos that will be released. Um, this is Pam Crawford of the Crawford Realty Team. Amy Mullen, and if you want to find out more or talk to us directly, please feel free to give us a call. You can reach me at 508-784-0504 or log on to my website, amymullenrealestate.com. And you can get a hold of me at 508-784-0503 or you can find me on www.pamcrawford.com.